Things are slowly taking shape at seven generations. Members of the community have volunteered their time to put together a 16-foot birch bark canoe. Leader of the build, Darren Lentz, explains how everything started. Well, one of the biggest parts of the process is uh, going out and collecting all the materials and having the knowledge to collect all the materials and, uh, and harvesting them appropriately and ethically. Um, and there's teachings that go behind those, uh, the harvesting of materials. Once you lay out the bark and have the bark laid out, the process goes fairly quickly, especially when you have a whole community of, of people working on the canoe, and that's traditionally the way it was done. Now volunteers are hard at work sawing, sewing, and tying on the lashings to keep the birch bark attached to the ribs of the boat. Lenz explains why building a canoe the original way is different from the way it's manufactured today. The unique thing about a birch bark boat is it's built exactly opposite of every other canoe. Other canoes start with the ribs first and then you put the skin on last. With a bark canoe, the way canoes were originally built, you started with the skin first and then you put the ribs in last. So we'll be adding cedar sheathing and ribs to this canoe to round it out so it won't be a flat bottom boat. The official launch date for the canoe is this Friday. Organizer of the entire event, Denise Pemmican, invited everyone to come on out for the celebration. We're hoping to launch it on uh, Friday, uh, August 1st, so we're going to have like a, a potluck feast here for everybody in the community who wants to come out. Um, and then actually we're, we're lucky that Seven Generations has allowed us not only to use this area, but they have a training program going on through with their mining workforce preparation program. And their students who are learning to do the line cook um, will be cooking, helping cook the feast for us. Pemmican said she decided to build the canoe to bring her more in touch with her culture and history. She said her grandfather also used to build canoes from scratch. Anyone is invited to come out and help build over the next few days. No prior experience is necessary. From Seven Generations, I'm Grace Protopappas for the KenoraOnline.com newsroom.